Hey, Shalom, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah HaKwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Uh, just real quick, a uh, yeah, quick article um, entitled Universal Basic Income Experiment Show Signs of Success in Stockton, California. Now, um, you know, if you don't know what universal basic income is, uh, just a brief, brief summary of it is basically the government, you know, um, giving out uh, free money. All right. Uh, So-called free money, you know, because <laughs> we know with uh, Esau ain't nothing, uh, you know, and his, he doesn't give anything out for free. All right. The scripture says that even the the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So you always have to, you know, um, narrowly look upon Esau when he's seeming to do something that is uh, beneficial, all right, seeming to do something that uh, he's portraying to, you know, he's portraying a, a, a program or a, a situation, you know, a device, whatever, anything that Esau comes out with, you have to uh, really consider, um, you know, all aspects of it because uh, it's it's normally for the uh, uh, the for him to gain more power. All right. For him to gain more power and for him to, uh, you know, oppress, you know, the uh, the, uh, the 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 populations, the world, the citizens, you know, more and more. So um, in here, you know, which we, which we've been hearing about universal basic income a lot more frequently, especially especially during the last year uh, because of the whole pandemic with so many um, companies, uh, so many people laid off and so many companies, uh, small businesses. Uh, you know, went under, which was all designed, all planned, okay, by this devil, all right? But what he ultimately wants to achieve is to be able to get everybody uh, uh, subjugated unto the government to where they they are relying on the uh, system in order to provide them with uh, the basic needs of, of, you know, livelihood, okay? Basic needs of, you know, uh, uh, being able to buy and sell. So you get that money, from the government, then the government is base is is your is your boss. Your government is taking care of you. So this ultimately, you know, leads into the uh once again the mark of the beast. All right, all roads leads to that MOB. Okay, uh, these uh, companies and this high all time high rate of unemployment is um, not by coincidence. Okay, this is all you know uh, uh, a part of this uh, great reset that these devils ultimately want to wants to achieve which uh, goes into uh, end-time prophecy. So I'm going to play this. Universal basic income, guaranteed payments to individuals with no strings attached. The idea, once championed by Martin Luther King Jr., has been touted by modern-day politicians like Andrew Yang. Cash relief is literally the difference between a family eating and a family going hungry. It's the difference between being homeless and having a roof over your head. In Stockton, the program began under former mayor Michael Tubbs, looking to help the city recover from the 2008 crash. A fifth of Stockton's residents fall below the poverty line, and residents of color are disproportionately impacted. So you see how they're, they're consistently um, targeting you Israelites, all right? It's, it's everything with this whole system and, you know, this whole great reset and all these benefits and conveniences that, this, uh, that they're bringing out. They're always trying to target you uh, Israelites, man, because ultimately who who Esau really wants to enslave, who Esau really wants to, you know, um, to get to take this MOB is Israel. Because if he if he can get all of Israel to take the MOB, then he can stay in power forever. But that's why the Lord scripture says that there is a uh, 7000 who has not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right. That image of Baal is the same image of uh, the first beast, all right? It's the same image of of uh, um, that uh, statue that um, Daniel saw. And ultimately, it's all Satanism, all right? It's all I idolatry, okay? And what is the first um, what is the first commandment that the Most High has? Thou shalt have no other God before, before me, all right? So all these things that these heathens done and Esau's done, all these images that they're, that they're uplifting, to, to get people to worship is all really to get uh, Israel to go away from uh, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
So because if Israel is, a, is away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then Esau can remain in power. But there is an elect that will not uh, bow the knee. All right. There's an elect that will not worship just like during the time of the ancient Babylonian Empire with um, the, the, the three holy children. OK, they didn't bow. All right. They didn't bow to the to the image, to the statue of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. All right. And the same thing you got during this time, man, you got an elect that is not going to bow no matter how convenient you're trying to make it seem, no matter how much money you're, you're dishing out. It's not going to work on the elect. And this is why it's all about the elect. The experiment gave $500 per month for two years to 125 randomly selected low income residents. And it paid off. Recipients were less anxious and depressed over time, and compared to the control group, they saw improvements in overall well-being. They could more easily handle unexpected expenses as the pandemic began, and they obtained full-time employment at more than twice the rate of non-recipients. For single mom Lorreen Paradella, the extra income mm -hmm. helped her care for her kids and her car. Southern and Northern Kingdom, that's what they always show. And being a single parent, you're always stressing over other stuff and things, you know. But um, I was able to sleep a lot better, uh, I could breathe a lot better, I could concentrate on my family a lot better too. For former Mayor Tubbs, it's no surprise. Dignity is not attached to work first, but it's attached to humanity, and everyone does better when everyone does better. So providing a floor is something in the best interest of our country. The project is timely as the administration, of course, is pushing for new stimulus checks. Seed says the study serves as a counter to narratives that cash payments discourage recipients to work. Lorene is one example. She's now motivated to go back to school, she says, to get a bachelor's degree to secure a higher paying job. Shep? Kate Rogers, thank you. So there you go. You know, that's and that's the M.O. of this devil, man. You know, he wants you to get you to um, to trust to trust in oppression. All right, let me get that in the book of Psalms. I believe it's uh, 62, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Psalm 62, verse 10, it says, Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. You know, so that's even going with these little, you know, the stimulus checks that they're giving out. Understand that ultimately, this is not, you know, uh, salvation. All right, salvation and it is not in riches, Okay. Uh, the scriptures also spoke about um, uncertain riches because just as easily as the devil is giving them out, understand that there is going to be it's going to be attached to something, and he's doing this to to lull to lull you in to uh, you know uh, uh, to get your your guard down, or right, have you dependent on and expecting you know this money. All right, to keep, to keep coming in, whether it be the uni basic, universal basic income, which is what they're going to bring out, especially when this economy collapses, which they're, which that is uh, propagated as well. All right, that's something that is not going to happen by surprise, but it's going to be de uh, designed. So when they when they collapse this economy, they're going to have this uh, universe, universal basic income as a, as a way to keep people, you know, being able to buy their and buy buy and sell. All right, but then that's when they're gonna bring that chip in because they're gonna to need to be able to track people. They're gonna be able to uh, need to be able to qualify people to see if they're if they should be getting these getting this money X, Y, and Z. All right, so that's why we have to continue to uh, pay attention and watch for these things, man. All right, and not to um, put your trust in Egypt. Isaiah thirty verse seven. Uh, Isaiah thirty verse two. It says um, that they walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. All right, and what is the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? It's the prophets, all right, that are speaking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakhak Wadash. Okay, so you're you're going down to Egypt, you're looking for aid in 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 kept in bondage. All right, you look going to your oppressors for for help, but you're not asking you're not asking your power. All right, you're not seeking the Holy One of Israel. It says to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. That's that whole trusting in this system, this finance monetary system. And that's what that universal basic income is going to get a lot of uh, Israelites trapped in. It says, therefore, shall the strength of your of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. It's, you're going to be you're going to be ashamed that you are uh, trusted in this in this system, man. OK, that's uh, in the book of Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. It talks about what they should be had in derision. OK, that were idle being offered things fed unto idols. 
Okay, you ask why you got to be active. You got to be uh, watching. All right, you got to stay diligent, stay vigilant, because the adversary, your devil, as a as a lion, go on, go with about seeking whom he may devour, and this is a way of devouring you Israelites, man. All right, a lot of things that this devil brings, he's bringing it as you know, as something that is good for you, just like with with um with uh, Eve in the garden. Okay, the serpent presented that fruit. Uh, you know that that tree of good and evil, all right. That tree of uh, the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil, all right. Which is you know ideologies and a uh, uh, certain left-handed um, understanding. He presented that as something that it was that it was good, to and that's why it was that's why he deceived Eve. But you gotta understand and ask at the mouth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm gonna jump down to verse um, twelve. It says, "Wherefore thus saith Yahweh Salakia, Therefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel." Because you despise this word, all right, because you despise the prophets, you despise trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, you despise un the, the knowledge of this place being Babylon the Great, being destroyed, the system being destroyed in the kingdom of heaven being established. You despise that good news and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, okay? See, the scripture told you not to trust in oppression, but trusting in the system, all right, and, and putting your faith and your hope. In the system is trusting in oppression, but there's a consequence for doing that, okay? Because Israel is not a home a homeborn slave, okay? We're supposed to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, okay? So your breaking, your fall, your demise, your destruction is going to come suddenly at an instant as it is written in Isaiah, I mean, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon you, you know? But um, out in that there, you know, I just want to bring this out, you know, we're seeing this devil working, moving, doing this thing, or we got to continue to, you know, stay watching these things because these all are, are leading up until the uh, MOB, which is the, the, the last prophecy, before the destruction of Babylon the Great, all right. But we, but you know we're seeing how this devil is constructing, forming, fashioning, all right. This this new system, so that he could just push this mandate, this, and a lot of people will take it, all right. So you know with that, Lord willing, it's edifying unto the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Till next time, Shalom.